hello, Rowan here, and to start the video, we're here in this churchyard. Come on. That tree there is a yew tree, and that's a yew tree as well, and also that one is a yew tree. Talking about yew trees today, and yew trees can live longer than any other native tree. They can live up to 2,000 years old. And they are very dangerous because everywhere is poisonous. The bark, the leaves, and the seeds, but not the red flesh from the berries. Nothing grows under the tree, the yew trees, because it's too dark and because of the spines that fall on the ground. Like this here. Let's go take a look at what we're going to talk about next. Hello again. Me and my dad didn't know about dandelions until we'd done some research. And here's what we know. This here is a dandelion flower and once fertilised, the dandelion turns into this and it dries up and shrivels up. And then it turns into this, a seed head forming. And then once the seed head has formed it look it turns into this and then each seed has a parachute this here is the seed and that there is the parachute the parachute helps it travel a long way when the as the wind pushes it along And each head contains about 100 seeds. Hello again. On our walk today we found some cows with some babies. found something, cuckoo spits, and I wondered if it was from a cuckoo, and I done some research about it, but it's n not from a cuckoo bird, it's from a spittle bug nymph. The reason why s there's spit on the plant is so the spittle bug can keep itself protected from predators and keep moist, and the spittle bug also sucks out some sap, a bit of sap from the plant and it's tempting to poke around gently with a little stick to see if the bug is in there but it's best not to because you'll disturb it.